Hi, it's It Week, and here at O21, this one woke up and got the newspaper um, pre-afternoon, and this is uncharted territory for this one because it's no caffeine, and the newspaper had a twofer, at least it led to a twofer for me. There was an article about nuclear power. There's something about Georgia not wanting our current president on the ballot and wanting a nuclear power plan. I'd call that a twofer. There was a twofer with nuclear power in the newspaper in which Zarqawi of France is running for re-election. If I was running for re-election of France, I'd tell, this is something that France should be really good at. For one thing, I'd tell French voters they could retire at 50 as far as I was concerned because like on, on, on something that they'd agree with me on that they're essentially incompetent and incapable of competing on the world stage. So I want them to retire at 50 and we'll figure something out. One of the things they can do is they're all, whether they like it or not, going to be part of an experiment which, in, which France decommissions its 50 odd nuclear power plants. And then we're going to see what happens when that happens too. And if the world doesn't like us, and here's the part that's really different, the world can go figure out something else to do with itself. Okay. So, anyway, nuclear power. Uh, it used to be for me that I was like, well, maybe, you know, it's cool for now. And now I think we can afford as a planet. We're saner than we were midway through, say, we were saner than we were 15 years ago. Certainly, we're, we can get back to being as sane as we were 30 years ago. Nukes, forget it, okay? Now, something else that we can't forget, and it's not as easy to get rid of, is up here, if you can stick with, let's get like a hot pinker pointer. That's supposed to be a dollar sign up there, okay? Hello. And pink is a letter that I rank up there, right up there with F. Okay. When, when as pink is a letter, there is no letter that is better. It's the one after E. Okay, so this is supposed to be a dollar sign in pink. All right. And it's a clock. And we're going to work with this as a symbol like this one down in the lower corner that says food. More on that later. But up here, up here, dollar sign with a clock. It's a time bank and it exists. And it's a little bit like nuclear power. It would be really great if it worked and it was in good hands of the right people, but it doesn't really work because it's dirty. Or if it does work, you've got to be very, very exclusively excellent about its use. But there's a bank in time. Government's got it, other folks got it. Like the Oracle of Delphi. More on how that works or doesn't later. And down here we have, anytime you see creamy white and red, it's a symbol for, there's a concept of Antarctic life. That anything, if you could think of, you're going to start a big housing project in Antarctica and the rest of the planet's going to be like the Grand Canyon or the Great Smokies or was left pristine to reforestate and everything so you're gonna my oh my, my far-reaching target is shoot for triple the Earth's population and move to Antarctica and then have an economy which nobody ever worries about having enough food, clothing, shelter, freedom, and the ability to get more of it. That's what the economy is based on. Freedom the verb, freedom the noun. And so we live in Antarctica and it's no weirder than living in a home instead of a farm. You, have, you know, at first a while you get used to, well you don't have the it, and then you live in cities and then you live looking at TV sets and then when you want to actually go to see something some idiot hasn't built like a series of wackaki style high rises right on the Grand Canyon. So like you wake up in the morning, it's this great view. Like you know, but my neighbor's like, hall. Oh. So but any, so we live in Antarctica and like say, mm, starting with in earnestness within twenty generations is like the idea. Like what everyone agrees that yeah, it'd be gross to like live anywhere else. Okay. So when you see this down here, 
in red and blue. Excuse me, white and red. Coffee, coffee, tea, tea. Okay. Um, so we got a two for nukes, not, not in Georgia, not the ballot, and not in France. F, favorite letter, and it's up here by the time bank that exists. And in food, they found some arsenic in baby formula, and this makes it like kind of like a three times, this is like, a, this is like, we're going to have to add one more idea, so it won't, but we have F. F makes it a ten. So it's not a nine. Well, we're, it's 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 a it's these are a series of tours or three years. There's arsenic in the food of baby formula, and this is big because there's life forms that can exchange arsenic for phosphorus. So you could instead of glow in the dark, you could hate in the dark. 